Greetings everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I am Simmer Chase. Today is a different episode. Yes! You know what we're doing? I'm going to help cover and just kind of generally go over some of my ideas and things that I've had on entries and doorways. I'm also later on going to make other episodes about grottos, which, you know what, I think that would be a really smart idea now that the Star Wars packs out. Even though, you know, it, it has its opportunities, there's so many objects now in different sandstones, colors, and different all kinds of like certain rocks and just architectural elements that I think will make backyards awesome. And I think when we mix it together with some jungle adventure things and give it like a tropical vibe even, I think that we're going to get really far with that content. So I can't wait to kind of feature some grottos and backyards, patios, and things like that coming soon. Um, but I thought first, you know what, with the new window update, I thought, you know, this is like the, the absolute, absolute, absolute perfect time to feature my ideas and entries and doorways. Yes. So we have windows, entries, and doorways, all kind of covering a little bit today. Thanks again so much for tuning in, guys. And I just look forward to providing you guys a lot more content. Thanks again so much for tuning in. And I am so grateful now that we're over 1,000 followers. I hope you guys stay proud and go out and do something magical. Alrighty, so today's a different episode, guys. Uh, I've actually kind of created this already, these different entryways. And what I'm doing is I'm just populating them in uh, through the redo tool. So I deleted them all and now I'm just kind of bringing them back so that you guys can see them kind of separately a little bit and kind of how they are. And then I'll turn back around and then start deleting them again so that you guys can start seeing them individually again and get a good look. Um, and then a lot of them, I'll also click the objects so you can write those down, screenshot them, whatever you need to do to, you know, if you've got an idea and want to maybe use one of these objects. Um, and then I also upload this to the gallery as well. So you can steal any of these as well or make them your own or, you know, I hope that they catalyze you guys too into like thinking about different combos and things you could do to really make a dramatic, exciting entrance and facade to your buildings. So this one kind of gives you that sort of 3D look around the edge by having like the beveled ends. And then we've got sort of like the commercial looking entrances where I've layered the windows on top of each other, which we can do now as well. Um, but you just want to be careful between the floors. You're going to want to have to have like a big window or not anything in between that, um, the wall um, where the floor is between levels because otherwise it'll act weird. So you're gonna have to go with a really skinny window then at that point to kind of fill your gap. Because a lot of the other windows you'll see like as I, I kind of demonstrate in here, but they'll kind of have a little bit of weird graphics sort of issue. So like this one didn't, but there are a few back here that you'll see that kind of do. So a heads up for that. Um, it just takes a little bit of finagling here and there to kind of play with it. Um, so those are more of like your basic rudimentary, um, just traditional window, two door or one door, double door, two windows thing. And then here we have a little bit more uh, detail that you're going to see kind of pop up here. So this one, like a church, um, any sort of like real big opulent courthouse or, or city building, something like that that you're looking for. You could definitely do a lot of these that have good commercial uses or if you're trying to do like an industrial vibe or, you know, if you're trying to do like a French inspired thing, then there's sort of that idea back there. And then now this is sort of like a Monticello design. And then this is a really modern take on it here. But as you can see, the sort of like um, filtering of the windows, the way that they react because they're stacked. So that's kind of a thing that's still happening a little bit. Um, this was another idea that I sort of had to kind of give you like a firehouse look um, for the front and then this would be like a really modern what we call the concave entryway where you know it's kind of in and recessed um, behind the windows so you can see all those here and I did a multi-tier like multi-color system just to kind of give it something interesting and you might be able to use it for like an apartment building is what I was really thinking for that and then this could be like another really 
interesting idea to do and you could even put like crossbars in there i'm just trying to make sure that it's more accessible for you guys and you don't have to go through the build by objects because you can you know go and get little pieces of trim of wood and make your own like different patterns and i'll kind of do another episode later on down the road that kind of gives you guys the advanced take on it but this is more like the intermediate idea where you don't have to spend a lot of time searching things or remember codes you will need to go ahead and make sure that you have the bb dot enable um uh let's see your move objects <laughs> so it's the bb dot uh, move objects cheat uh make sure that you have that on you do not have to worry about so it's control shift c you just want to make sure that you do not um you know kind of just leave that little bit of space or or how you chunk out that window area between the, the floors which you'll kind of see me here in a second but here on this most recent taller design with the like french pattern you'll see the kind of what i'm talking about but basically as it goes up i had to go and add in like a blank window to be able to then stack other windows on top of it so you're gonna kind of get to be able to see how that worked and same with this sort of thing too to give you like a beach vibe so this one has a lot of little windows that are all plugged in together to kind of give you a good blend there and then i have one that's like the one of my favorites to do which is that concave and and curve design that we have there with the the two like pillar windows that are like you know moved out like that and really you could make the wall in there and then wrap it around if you wanted so now you're just kind of seeing the rears of them so they can kind of get a good look behind everything and just kind of what it the different designs that are kind of my initial thoughts and ideas of things that i've done before or things that i would you know kind of give you guys a little bit of idea of like you know hey this this is definitely a smart idea to try so now you're gonna see this like colonial one go away and so now we're back here to this one so you're gonna see like it kind of the way that it's designed see how that like that middle part there was actually part of the second level and then same with this part here so this one was like maybe a retro style or if you're trying to do a lodge of some kind and these windows can be you know changed swapped out and that kind of stuff too you could always use different windows but i just want to try and make sure that you guys didn't have to spend a lot of time going through all the debug items and that kind of stuff because you could if you wanted but it'd take a lot more time and it's a lot more intensive to have to like hold the alt key down and precisely put in each trim piece which some people do have and that's that's definitely something i'll kind of show you guys later on how to do and kind of some good creative ideas for that to give you even more custom looking windows but this is just sort of like off the shelf kind of stuff where it's just going to be easier for you guys just to pick up and do or you can you know copy it and save it as a room from this uh, gallery entry that i put up so now you're just seeing this like sort of retro design there that i put in this is another idea for like a possible church or something like that I really love being able to see like the stained glass windows and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, the yellow and the white aren't quite the same, but they're pretty close. And so I really wanted to kind of do what I could with that. Um, and then that was just, again, more window piling. And then this is, again, more window piling, but it's just the middle ones like, you know, kind of merged into two so that it just looks like it's like one big uniform window. And then we have this up here. Alrighty, cool. So then you're seeing towards the back. Towards the back, towards the back. And then I'm gonna pop them in one more time just so you guys can see them all kind of come together one more time and kind of how they all like flow. And again, you guys can use any of these ideas um, because they're really morphable, kind of whatever style you want to go with. But thanks again so much for tuning in. And I look forward to sharing a lot more ideas with you later. Hope you have a great day and stay proud. And you can go ahead and find this in the gallery today.